hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title um, from my hair today we're going to be doing a crimp look a crimp hairstyle and i'm pretty sure you have seen a lot of people that have been bringing this back and if you are one of those ogs that used to crimp your hair while you were in middle school yes that was me too I used to not crimp my whole hair because the crimpler, the crimper that I had back then was like a really small crimp. Like it wasn't a big wavy crimp like this. It was like more like a zigzag crimp. I used to, one time actually I crimped it all and it was super, super huge, like huge. So what I used to do was like have, my hair was naturally, for the most part, it was naturally pretty straight. So what I would do it would just get like a little cortinita right here and just crimp that whole part or, or I would crimp this part right here and that way whenever I would bring my hair to the front you can see it down here but anyways if you want to see how I crimp my hair then just keep on watching okay so this is my hair right now and I previously strained it earlier I just put it in a bun this is what I have right now. What I'll be using today is going to be this crimper right here. I actually purchased this one, I want to say maybe four years ago. Uh, I actually got this one at Sally's and it is a Power IK, IQ, I'm sorry, Power IQ. That's the brand, I believe. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. That's the brand right here. I'll see if I can link it down below. And if not, I've seen some on Amazon that are exactly the same, probably even a better brand. But this one has been working for me pretty well, so that's why I haven't changed it. And it's pretty new. I don't crimp my hair every day, but lately I have been doing it and I've been loving it, honestly. It's really flowy, summery, and fun. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do my, I how I crimp my hair. Okay, so the heat protected that I'm gonna be using is the Chi Iron Guard, 44 Iron Guard, which is this one right here. And I do highly recommend you all to use a heat protectant, especially using these. I don't know about all of them, but at least this one heats up so quick and it heats up a lot like a lot i feel like maybe a little too much but um it does get the job done um for any irons straight irons i mean flat irons curling irons anything i do recommend y'all to use um some heat protectant um well this is the one that, that's been working for me and i've actually been liking it so i'm gonna go ahead and just spray this on my hair And then I just kind of work it with my fingers. And for my ends, I do get a little bit on my hands and just rub it on my ends. Because those are the ones that get, even though I really don't, um, I really don't pass the crimper down to my ends, but you'll see why. I'm going to be using a clip just to keep my hair up. Okay, so I don't really take small sections for this. Just because um, I think it's huge. And I don't... If you take smaller sections, the bigger you're going to get like your hair. You know what I mean? So you're going to get like a lot of crimps. I'm trying to go for... I'm trying to go more for like the the wavy crimps and then i do kind of take the smaller sections towards the front just because those are the ones that frame your face okay so i'm gonna part them in half so the flat side towards you and the bumpy side i guess outwards okay two sections Okay, so I'm going to try to get it as close as to the 
not too close okay you don't want to get you don't want to burn your scalp so i place it there and I'm gonna get a little lower so I can tell you. And you just move it down and make sure they're connected. So move it down, make sure it connects. Okay, and this is what I'm talking about. I leave, I'm gonna leave a little bit out. I'm not gonna crimp it all the way down. That's why I leave the little piece down here just so I can make it look a little longer. Plus it looks nice. I don't like when my ends are crimped because they look all wild and crazy. Uh, make sure not to leave it too long in one spot because it's your hair. <laughs> it's gonna burn. Yeah, just leave it. I think it maybe four seconds. Bring it down. Okay, see, I lost myself. Okay, so right there. And I'm actually leaving it longer than I usually do, but that's just because I brought it down to 700. And I usually use it to full capacity. Or let me go ahead and just do one side. And then I'll, sh so I can show you the whole half. And then I'll do the other side on my own. So again, I'm gonna get a, a section. And you don't have to be so precise with this, honestly, because unless if you really want like the perfect marked crimps and like voluminous, extra voluminous, um, well then take your time. <laughs> take small subsections, small subsections and just don't leave the crimper on too long because it can burn your hair. And we are dealing with heat, so FYI. Mm. Let me see. Like okay, so I have. I'm um, gonna put it like around there, and it's not completely close to my scalp. I need like an inch away from my scalp okay i hope you guys can see this honestly let me see down and you can kind of feel it on the crimper like whenever like it passes that wave and it's not too quick okay okay i'm gonna leave that out because it's too it's already too much Okay, so this is what I have so far. Doesn't it look so cute? Okay, so for the top part, I'm already up here. For this top part, it's for my top layer. I'm going to, uh, okay. I'm going to grab the back and I'm gonna crimp that. I'm gonna crimp this piece right here. And you saw how fast I got through my hair. I, I don't have a lot of hair, but I don't have very little either. But like you get through this pretty quick. Um, again, I'm not taking small sections. I'm not going for like the perfect cramp. I'm going more for like the the wavy, nice, natural. Well, it's not natural, but more of a fun, loose cramp. Okay, now right here, um, I'm actually going to take smaller sections, so like skinnier sections. Um, so right there. And these I'm gonna make sure like they're perfect because these are the ones that are gonna frame your face. Um, it's gonna make it look nice. If uh, you see that, 
Okay, again, I'm gonna take a small section and I'm gonna split this in half. For this last section, uh, again, I'm going to take two sections right here, and you can direct it, direct it, you can, yeah, you can pull it forward, front, I did this one front so it can kind of fall to the front, and this one I'm going to pull it a little more towards the back, just so it can fall, like, right here. how small my layers are it's okay it's gonna go i was actually trying to get it like all even i still had one layer left and that one got pretty like bad i already strained my hair every day and me getting it done and getting it lighter just made it worse so it was i had to cut it i had to Okay, this one, I'm going to just make it land right here. You see how that, like, just landed right there? The way you pull your hair forward, back, and just straight down, that's how it's going to land. Okay, so this is what this side looks like. Look at how cute that looks. And you can definitely, like, break it and, like, just style it the way you like it. But let's continue doing the other side. So you can definitely see I have a lot of volume going on and um and I still took small sub I mean big subsections if you take smaller subsections it will be a lot bigger but the reason for mine's is because um I do have this smaller layer here so if you have short hair it's definitely gonna be you know pretty pretty voluminous but the reason mine's a little more poofy up here is for this last layer. And when my layer was lo a lot longer, it will be heavier. So obviously, it would be a little less. But I can definitely work with this. This looks cute. To finish it off, I'm going to be using the Shine Infusion by Chi as well. And this is like a, basically an oil sheen. And this is going to add like that shine to your hair. So I lightly spray it. You don't want to apply this directly to your root because it's going to make it look really, really oily. Like really oily. So I lightly spray it. Okay. Like you, you can already see the difference like right here to it over here and I, I don't want my fingers through it because I don't want to make it any poofier I'm just kind of like lightly patting it down running my hands 
on top of it and for my ends i don't apply that directly to my ends again because i don't want it to be oily what i usually use is um again another cheap product um i use the silk infusion which is a little sedan and i use very 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 little like less than a dime size i only use this for my ends honestly even when i um strain my hair i use the the shine infusion i spray it on top of my hair and then i use um the silk for my ends so i mean i like using the silk overall on my hair too but I just got used to that one. It's it's really light and you can't you can never go wrong with it. Like honestly, you can't overdo it unless if you're like spraying and going crazy with it. And with this one, obviously it's my pasada, so that one's been working real good for me. So I, I did the ends. You know, my ends are not gonna be looking all dry and crusty. So just go ahead and play with it. You can you don't have to wear it down if you don't want to. You can clip it right here back here and just bring i used to do this too i used to bring like two little two little ones right here in the front just to get a cute little clip and just brought these up that looks really cute too you can also put it in a ponytail whatever works for you just play with it um it's definitely really summery looking but this is my liking I like it more, more like this, more on the looser side. So this is the finished hairstyle, you guys. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you do get to try this hairstyle and if you like it. I'll make sure to go ahead and link it down below. Uh, link, I don't know if I can find the Sally's one, if they still have it at Sally's or not, because again, I did purchase this like maybe, um, I want to say three, three, four years ago no maybe like four or five years ago and it's in pretty good conditions but i'll see if i can find it on the sally's website if i can i'll make sure to link it down below if not i do see some on amazon that are exactly the same actually a different brand a better brand if i can't find them i'll link them if not i'll link both but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and also go ahead and turn on your post notifications that way you can get notified every time i upload a new video again i really hope you guys enjoyed it thanks you so much for watching and i'll see y'all on my next video bye you guys